The deadly cracks that could trigger a fresh landslides are said to stretch from Manafra district up to the river Luakaka on the Kenyan border. Bududa district is once again affected together with parts of Mbali, Sironko and Kapchora districts. In Manafra district, five sub-counties have been affected by the crack and at least 1,000 homes are at risk of being washed away. These homes, however, are found beyond the recommended 1993 boundary, which demarcates the area of the Mount Elgon National Park. Most have developed huge cracks as well. The problem where we are is a national park. And we are in, in 2009, we had re removed people from here. Above the cliff, there are a lot of people. They have cleared the forest on top of the cliff. And actually, there is even another crack on top of this cliff, meaning that any time this cliff it's like, it's like to hit here and to hit all these villages below the area. Rock particles have also started falling off as the rains continue eroding the already weakened slopes of the mountain. Now these soils, as we noticed when we were climbing, what do you observe? They hold more water. Water does not flow down quickly. You could see us sliding. So because of that, when it rains, we have more water running down than it going down into the soil. A team of Uganda Wildlife Authority and NEMA officials who made an on-the-spot check today blame it on unchecked cultivation on the slopes of Mount Elgon. Environment specialist Mary Kitutu is now warning of the likelihood of landslides if the rains continue. Now the environment bodies want the inhabitants here relocated as soon as possible. In March last year, this same region suffered a deadly mudslide that left hundreds dead and thousands more displaced.